Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be going over a thorough review of the iTouch wearables app. And there's actually two apps. There's a newer version and the older version that the mo moderators made. So today we're going to be reviewing both of them, figuring out which one is the best for you and what are the differences. Also, the reason I'm making this video is because in the previous video where I unboxed this smartwatch right here, uh, there's a lot of questions in that video in the comments saying, how do you change the setting? How do you do that? And most of the questions have to relate with the app. And I tried answering those questions in the comments, but this is a better video to help you figure out the app and so you don't have any questions left. So let's get started. Okay, so here are the watch apps that you can download. On the left side, you have the older app, and on the right side, you have the newer app. So if you go into the order app on the left, it brings up a lot of information such as steps, sleep, heart rate, water intake, and your running mode. And what running mode is, is that it tracks your location through its GPS and tells you how far you have run. So basically you can use that separate from the watch. You don't have to use the watch for this. And that's basically the whole idea of the app. You can use it separately to record data manually and adjust data from your watch, or you can use the watch to record data automatically. If you go to the other page, you can see here that you have the information on your watch and settings to adjust on your watch. You can view uh, watch faces here where you can customize them such as your modern watch face, analog watch face, custom watch face, and downloaded watch faces. So in the modern watch face, it gives you some basic information and the analog it has a more of a, a not like a non-digital, more classy look. And in the custom, if you click edit, you can us, uh, edit a lot of things in here, such as your time position. You can make it above or below, and you can see it just changed the time position. You can choose what you want above the time, such as heart rate, and you can also choose what you want below the time. You can also change the text color here, and you can also choose the background color, uh, background picture that you want using the select picture button next to the preview. My favorite part of the watch faces has to be the downloaded watch face. And if you click explore other clock faces on the bottom, it brings up this whole directory of about a hundred or more watch faces. And each watch face has its own style, its own fonts, its own background, its own information. So you can choose from a variety of different watch faces here, which is amazing. And considering how many they have, you won't run out of a watch face ever. So going out of all of that, you have things like notifications where you can enable notifications and disable them. And once you enable the notifications, you can get them onto your watch. So you don't have to pick up your phone every time you get a notification, but you cannot reply to the notifications from your watch like I explained in my video previously, uh, but you have to use the phone to reply to them. This was a question that was widely asked in the comment section. How do you enable notifications and how do you get notifications on your watch? So going back to the additional, oops, going back to the additional features in the actual app, uh, we can see that we have many settings here, such as elevated heart rate, city, weather, and you can change things in the app and your watch here. You also have your camera remote, which is mostly just like a remote for your camera for, that you can use on your watch, and you can take pictures with your watch by just clicking the shutter button on your watch, and it'll take a picture on your phone. You can also update your firmware here, and you can update the software for your watch and the app itself here. Lastly is the user settings, and this is the settings for the profile that you have set up. You can click on my profile and it'll tell you everything here. Your step goal, so what you want as your step goal, and about. Okay, so that is it for the, uh, the older version of the app. And in the newer version, if you see here, it opens up just as fast, if not a little bit slower. Uh, and here you can have the similar information, but it has even more information, information such as coffee intake, uh, weight, to body temperature, and blood oxygen monitor. So that's some newer information on here that you did not have in your other watch uh, app. You can click... Um, like you can connect your watch to the app through here. So on the top, if you look back, there is this watch symbol, and clicking on that will let you uh, connect to your watch. 
I don't have it connected as it was connected to the older app. And if you click on this panel here, you get things like my profile, my goals, announcements, running mode, settings about contact us, privacy policy, and logout. So in order to use this app, you have to make a count of iTouch Air wearables. And in announcements, it just tells you things like congratulations, you have completed your steps goal, your distance goal, your weight maintained goal, just your goals, basically. And that's pretty much it for this app. As you can see, there's not a lot of features. Uh, in settings, you do have the watch faces again, but you have to connect your watch for that, which I don't have connected right now. But the problem with this app was that in order to get watch faces, you can only have three, the analog, custom, and modern watch face you do not have custom what uh, you don't have uh, downloaded watch faces in here which was a pretty big downside for me considering how many of different watch faces you were about uh, able to get from the other app but other settings were the same as the older app so in my opinion the older app was much better than this even uh, the newer app ha has some bugs and the developers themselves say to get the older app if you experience any bugs the newer one but that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed and please subscribe if this helped you out solve any questions that you had about the watch